This is a dynamometer setup. A dynamometer is used when you have to measure force or moments in a rotating system. And in this measurement, we have a motor that generates rotation, and it's a resistance that can be controlled through um, this device that is known as a magnetofluid brake. You can change the brake resistance through adjusting the voltage or current supplied to the brake. In order to measure the torque in the shaft, we have a wireless transmitter and also a string gauge set up in the system. And the rotation speed is measured by a wheel and optical sensors and that consists of a diode and a L, um, LED light. So all these sensors send out the information and the bottom unit is the strain gauge readout unit. It indicates the torque in the shaft. And the one in the middle is the power supply that you can adjust the voltage to change the brake resistance. And on top is a counter that measures the shaft RPM. The wireless strain gauge readout unit works with the ordinary string gauge circuit. However, the signal is transmitted through this antenna and it's read um, by a computer. So before you operate, you have to disconnect the charging cable for the battery. And so this is the rotation of the motor and we can adjust the voltage to increase the resistance from the brake. So as 